What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between the threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come eat, drink, and then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you have heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> that breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist. But you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there. Hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Are you going to ride with me? I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. There is suffering, um, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. I ended as a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. 
Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly about other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, senor master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is bad? To pull your arm around a hungry man? You will never find a spell without me, senor Marston! Why are you riding away? Stay where I can see you! Who are these animals you hunt? This Billy, the capo, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fellow I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. We're part of a past I can't seem to get rid of. The past? All that. They cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel people. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. Must be a high price on their head. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law and order. We do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? Where are you going? Get back here! Stay with the wagon. Who's this man we're looking for? The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes. He's a traitor. A liar. A coward in a senate. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I looked this morning. I ever will for that pathetic war. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle. Who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is standing up his gong, giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for, just to hear people shout his name. Come on, come on! Were you ever in the army? <laughs> no, sir. I was never in the army. I thought as much. You have the air of a man who knows little of loyalty in this one. And you have the air of a man who's too hasty to jump to conclusions. Do you have a problem with authority, Senor Master? If you were in the position I am, you'd have a problem with it too. Do you even believe in God? I don't believe in much right now. I'm just here to capture two men, like I told you. Well, believe this. I am the army, and I am the governor. If you want to hunt that loss, I will lay you. Kill them all. You will be doing me a favor. But in this province, in Nuevo Paradiso, you will obey my command. I thought Colonel Olinde was in charge. Ain't you just a captain? When I am that is not here, I'm in charge. Do you understand me? Yeah, I think I got it now. When I put on this uniform, I swore I set it up to protect the country I love. And I will protect her from threats external and internal. I will fight to my last breath to stop this rebellion. One day soon, I will be a general. Good for you. Very careful, gringo. What's I say, but your time in Mexico will be short and painful. It's not for now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to squirt. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. I thought you wanted our help. Come on, the train is waiting. What are you waiting for? Huh? Come on, 
This way! Hurry! Stay with the train, senor! Come on! This will be a great day for Mexico! We will be heroes! I should have put the gun down, amigo. Come on! a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased.
¡Los rebeldes están robando el tren! ¡Levántese, perezoso, que yo para qué le estoy pagando! Marston, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá atrás, muévase. ¿Qué pasa usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo.